As the state and businesses seek new revenues in a slowly recovering economy, there are efforts afoot to find dollars in areas you may not expect to see Delaware active. And those advocating these ideas say, why not Delaware? I think it can be big. I mean, I think it's, you know, it's, 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 it's going to generate money for our hotels and our restaurants and our stores, and that's a big deal. It is the Delaware Sports Commission, launched last November to attract national and regional events to the first state. There's a market out there that there's events looking for quality, you know, people that are interested in hosting them and having the facilities to, to be able to host it. So far, the commission has helped deliver two U.S. figure skating events to the University of Delaware and next year's American Collegiate Hockey Association Club National Championships. To have those events kind of on our resume and we can use them as a point of reference is, uh, is a great tool for us. Those things just provide a great experience for us. You learn from your mistakes right. and, and you move on. But not to spectator-driven pro events like the LPGA Championship or the Tour de Pont that Delaware used to host. Instead, the commission is targeting participant-driven youth sports. A 13-year-old boy is not driving himself to a baseball tournament. Uh, his, his mom and his dad uh, are going to be uh, accompanying him. So with every one participant, you're going to add at least you know, one, one and a half, two, uh, two more people to that event. The key? facilities tailored to these type of tournaments. Without the facilities, we wouldn't even be able to have a conversation <laughs> with the events. So they're very important. Which is why there's very preliminary plans to turn this field in Frederica into a youth sports complex, with the Greater Dover Committee helping fund a feasibility study. That would determine the, the real economic impact, what the path forward is, is there enough demand in the area, and while some pursue a field of dreams, State Representative Tom Kovac thinks Delaware ought to be in movies like it. There's a lot of opportunities to shoot in remote locations, shoot in cost-efficient locations, shoot in locations like Delaware. We can be responsive. Specifically through Kovac's Delaware Film Initiative Bill. While other states offer tax credits after production, it offers loans up front, up to 30% of a film's budget. If 80% of the film is made in the first state, a Delawarean is listed as a producer, and the project forms a Delaware LLC or incorporates here. We want to set it up so that if for whatever reason there would be a default on that loan, that we've got our assets covered by collection of uh, taxes from the movie, from the wages on the movie, from the salaries, from the income. Think Dead Poets Society, which was filmed at St. Andrews in Middletown. Kovac believes his plan, paired with the current economy, could bring small productions like that back. Pennsylvania had a tough time reapproving its budget and cut the film uh, incentive project in the form of tax credits. There are movies that were planning to go to Pennsylvania. If we create a program in Delaware as soon as possible, we can actually lure some of those productions into Delaware. And whether it's movies or sports, the idea is low-risk, high-reward revenue streams. We're not investing in creating sports. We're facilitating that activity that's already out there. We're not investing in creating movies. We're facilitating the shooting of movies that's already going on. Delaware is certainly not innovating here. Most states already have sports commissions and film boards of some sort. But Kovac believes Delaware can learn from what those other states have done wrong and right and do it better here. Learn more about Representative Kovac's bill by going to our website, whyy.org, and click on First.